Hey guys, welcome back to Truth Be Told Transformations. I'm experimenting with these um, cards um, from a game. <laughs> I do have another message, and I just take them the way they come out and make words or acronyms with them, okay? Love is patient, love is kind is the verse that I pulled for this, or the same, okay? Um, remember, flip it, switch it. I ask uh, Archangel Michael to protect me during this reading, and I call upon them the Archangel of Directions. We're protected in all six corners as above, so below. Um, Flip and switch, mask of feminine energies, okay? 80 is significant. You could be a police officer, work at the post office. You got your GED, or they did. Okay. Remember, you could, any of these could be your initials as well. Your name is Laura. You can spell it anyway, though. L-O-R-A. Alright. You could drive a Jeep. J. Had a blank. E and P. You could also be from Washington, or these are your initials. You could be from Nevada, or these are your initials. You can be from anywhere, really, or those. You have ties to those states, okay? Someone, they want you to know someone lied. L I E D. Laura. This person may have lied, or you may have lied. About something, or ABS. Have abs. We Alabama. Alright. Flip it. But they lied about something, okay? And then I have ho and sex. So they were cheating, lying to you about it. Okay. I'm going to pull cards on this. I know it's a little bit different. Remember, I'm just trying this out, guys, to see how it goes for um, the channel. But I am going to make sure that they end up high vibrational and tell them how, you know, how I work through this or whatever is going on. Depends on what spirit reveals. Okay. So those of you that are in here, thanks for being here. Um, you know, be kind. This is a space for all. We are all kind here. Please give me some messages. Spirit, what kind of energies are we dealing with or what needs healed? You have imagination. You need to tap into your inner child and have patience. Affirmations you can use to raise it to your vibration with this is for imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. For patience, I accept everything happens in divine order. Okay. For, and someone's in denial over this. I feel like they feel like this is going on, but they're not quite sure. They don't want to believe it. You know, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And is there any other one, Spirit? Yep, this is about relationships. See, I'm going to start popping out the letters too. I just wanted to practice with them a little bit because it's new. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay. So, you could have been through the situation or going through the situation. Only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Okay. You want me to? Okay. I'm going to use the Tea League Oracles first before I get into the tarot. I'll let you guys see me shuffle them. That's Virginia also. I see WB. The cards kind of moved around a bit. But I mean, you know, I take them as they come out and then make the word. And when I make the word, I move on to more. Or it's initials. Okay, I'm just telling you. Um, again, there may be a trigger warning on this. I'm not sure. So just so you guys know. Spirit, give me 10 to 12 cards about this significance. Ring. A marriage will take place either romantically or in business. This could be about um, an affair at a business. Okay. Um, or someone that's married, cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life, can be married and have a dissatisfaction with life, the month of the year, December is significant, anniversary, birthday, something important happened during that time, what else, spirit, coins, money will be coming to you, younger woman, because they could be cheating with a younger woman, or you could be cheating with a younger woman, it could be same sex, or opposite sex, put it where it resonates, dealing with a relationship with a younger woman, hat, you will be playing a different role, so you're going to be playing a different role, I feel it raised for you, we'll see, they don't pop out and hit the, the table, I'm not taking them, month of October is significant, this is involving family matters, okay, dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you, this could be a distant friend that they meet up with, or it could just be a distant friend thinking of you, the stork is here, these of a birth or a business opportunity. Um, I'm feeling like there might be a mysterious pregnancy here, honestly. 
I do feel sick to my stomach, kind of like you do when you're um, having morning sickness. Um, but I also feel that someone here could be birthing a business. And that's how you're going to get these coins uh, and playing a different role. Tiger, doing something risky, risky, taking a chance. That could be them or you. Put it where it resonates. And there's our 12 cards. Let's pull out the tarot here. Let's see what I can get with this. This King of Wands in the reverse definitely has the player energy. Okay. Um. Like I said, it could be Laura the Cheating, or it could be somebody cheating on a Laura. Of course, you could be really any name. Those are just what came out in the cards of significance. You've been going, you went within, okay, to heal where you need to go within to heal this. I do feel you're going to calmer waters after this time, unless this time is coming. I mean, put it where it resonates, we're all in different timelines, okay? You're very guarded, Nine of Wands. You, um, you're a wounded warrior. You've been through a lot of pain. I feel like you are actually breaking an ancestral curse here. Um, so the star, ace of wands, temperance, and the three of coins. I feel like you are hoping, wishing, and praying for a new start here. This is going to be a passion, a new start, something that you're going to start. Spirits wanting you to remain balanced. If this story fits, this could be, and has already happened, this could be your outcome, you've been cheated on, okay? Put it where it resonates. You could collaborate with others to make money or work together with others to make money. It could also mean that this person from this situation is going to get a couple of different storylines. Um, they could work together. They're being very sneaky. Seven of Swords. Um, I feel like somebody's about to find out about this and walk away. Okay. Yeah. It could be a King of Cups. Kings of Pisces Scorpio does not have to be waiting on your ships to sell in. Okay. Like, waiting on, uh, riches to arrive, waiting on like your manifestations to come. Could be a spiritual leader, okay? Speak your truth. I feel like it's important. This will help you heal. You, this could be what? Your job that you're starting. Um, you would work very hard. Forged in the fire. I just heard forged in the fire. That may be significant for somebody. Yeah, creating a new business or you could be getting a promotion. I think you're about to get an offer when it comes to work for a promotion, a new job, start your own business, um, or to start a business with somebody. Put it where it resonates. What else, Spirit? Wish fulfillment here. This is what you really want. Be careful not to become too greedy, though, is what I'm hearing. Um, don't be too smug or please. You could also meet a King of Pentacles. You could be getting a message from a King of Pentacles about this business. They want to start. Um, what's this message about? Yeah, it's definitely about money, okay? About raising your money or income. It's been coming a long time coming, but there's been many battles or fights to keep you from this or a fight within, okay? Yeah, but you know you get what you give in life and the scales are being balanced, okay? Let's see what else we get here in the cards. I know, like I said, these messages are a little different. I'm trying to tell the story but keep it high vibrational. I'm going with what card spirit gives me, okay? Not everybody may not, not like them and that's okay. You don't have to subscribe, you don't have to like, you don't have to comment. If you don't like it, you can go on your way, okay? This is a safe space for all here. So, somebody here may be going through some type of withdrawal or awakening. They may feel rejected. Okay. They're reserved about gaining this money. Like, they may be withdrawal with money. Okay. But you will persevere, and your justice is that the seed you've planted, you will have enough money to save uh, for yourself and your family and help others because you will pay it forward. Um, I feel like no one else has really done this. You've been looking through. I feel like you're here healing an ancestral lack, of, um, an ancestral line of lack, generational. Okay. There was a vow made here. Tell me more about this. There's evidence here of a loss. So you may have stolen a business from somebody or um, was being very sneaky or taken something from them. This could be this person that was cheating. Maybe you noticed something missing from your house. I'm going to get a couple different storylines. Yep, robbery. Okay, or they could have stolen the business or stolen money from you. So because of that, you're going to hit the lottery or you have a, a time of luck. So hitting the lottery, playing scratch off the course, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please seek professional help and play at your own risk. But I do see you getting a fortune of some sort. It could also be passed down after someone passes away, possibly. Um, or there could be a court situation I'm getting to that turns in your favor, okay? And you will win. Right is here. So you may be doing 
manifesting magic could have all been ser like word spells are worse to me so words spoken against you because someone was angry you're going on an adventure you might travel a lot it's time to relax and travel and not have to worry about this person from your past okay your eternal love is coming you're someone who's about to be stressed out and overloaded i've started heart attack for somebody i hope not prayers to anybody this is going through this um i also see an ending to the stress is what i'm hearing too for you you will meet your goals okay so keep pushing forward you might be an introvert and need to get out and about more you know don't be afraid to put yourself out there like i'm very nervous about doing this but here i am doing it um, there's going to be a compromise to any battles that you have going on within. Be careful of traps, though. People set, someone set a trap in a battle, like they're about to catch, get caught up in their own trap. I feel like they're going to try to, like, like, everybody just get along, you know, kind of thing with this conflict. Yeah. So, someone is going to fall in their own trap that was caught trying to cause conflict in someone's life, okay? Well, I feel like you were trying to compromise. Your commitment's being tested. Um, I feel like you're being spiritually tested as well to see how you're going to react or you have been through that. Everything's going to be a-okay. Anything else, spirit? Endorsement. Bribe. Somebody may try to bribe you or persuade you, tempt you to go against your standards, okay? Or go against something that you know is not right. Maybe you did before, but you live and you learn. Um, and I see a marriage coming here. And this is an eternal love. This is something that's true after being cheated on, after something wasn't right yet, after being a third wheel, as I said, cars just flew out. I can't make that up. All right. Um, let's get some love angels here. Relationship angels, not love angels. <laughs> Relationship angels, please. Send a message, it's collective. We'll get some signs and things at the end, okay? Or just energy to me. This is a past life relationship, so you've definitely known each other before. Spirits telling you to stay optimistic about your love life. Um, you could have been cheated on the past, and this is what's happening now. This new person's coming in. Children are definitely going to be in your affecting your relationship. You could be with children. You could have children. They could have children. But this is your true love. Um, this is a romance partner of life. And I'm also hearing they might be different from what you normally would date. Okay. Don't be afraid to date other people and keep an open mind about your love life. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. After I said that, the car flew out. Y'all saw that. Um, honeymoon is here. Enjoy bliss together. Holiday time together. So you may meet them on vacation or you guys may go on vacation together, okay? And you have deception in the reverse. This person will not deceive you as others have in the past. I just feel like you both have been treated like shit, to be honest, okay? Um... I was going to use advice for Tara to clarify, but I think we're good. I'm keeping these messages kind of shorter. All right. I usually do other, mostly have vibrational messages, but I ask for your person messages, and apparently somebody needs to hear these, okay? But you're going to be okay. I know you've been through a lot, and you've been hurt, right, by somebody who's cheating. They lied. Um, they could be a police officer. don't have to be. You could also work for a post office. You're going through a glow up. I've, since this happened... After you took, you were praying and taking your time to heal through your faith and belief, you're going through a grow up, you're eating more vibrational food, drinking more water. You took action on this instead of sitting, waiting around, being miserable, right? Through this separation. Instead, you took action and bet on yourself. You got, you know, you did better for yourself. You started working on you, listening, you might do affirmations, things of that sense. So you could, when you took action, it puts you in domination over the situation. This could have been your twin flame, or this could be your true vibrational, high vibrational partner that's coming in who's more grounded. Who's I feel like a false somebody had a false twin flame here in the past. You could also be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. It's time for you to ground. Spirit saying, stay grounded. Okay, go barefoot outside. Imagine your feet being tree roots. You're gonna. You have to be grounded in order for you to discover the path of growth that you're about to embark okay um you discover your truth your power right i feel like you are connecting with spirit whatever you feel spirit is the universe god source whatever you align with this is a time of positive evolution and celebration for you you're about to get good fortune to be able to take vacation anytime you want it um you can make money even while traveling okay 
So congratulations. See how they kind of end up crazy in the beginning and then they tell a story? That's how usually most of my readings are. Um, and not everybody likes that, and that's okay. So we are going to get some signs here, and some angel numbers for guidance. We have Libra. We have Scorpio. We have Leo. Anywhere in your chart. Okay. We have Aquarius. I believe Aquarius. Or, no, sorry. Sagittarius. Double Sagittarius. Somewhere in your chart. Highly aspected in your chart. Okay. And that's a planet Pluto I feel like your Pluto is being expanded which is like your your growth luck and fortune is that what that is like uh, I feel like you're gonna get it's being aspected here I feel like it's your time to shine that's what I just heard okay of course you could be any sign um, this is signs are just energy to me um, the numbers I have here for angel numbers um, number two number six number 128 Number 53 and 10. 10 is endings. Oh, you could also be a, um, I said Scorpio, Virgo. Okay. We'll use the Andrew number book for guidance here regarding these numbers before we move on. Let's pull the rest of the oracles, okay? So when you see the, you could be seeing twos in your reality. Start paying attention on receipts, on signs, on notifications on your phone. Okay, trust. You build your life by, with gratitude. It's not just the big things you can hope for. It's also the little things which keeps everything together. You are never alone. Your angels are reminding you that so many small things together create a miraculous and cumulative outcome. Create a list of what you're grateful for today, which will help bring your new manifestations in. Six is about your material world. Only love lasts eternally. You're paying too much attention to the superficial. Oftentimes, you can forget the depth of what you are doing in life by focusing on the material world's distractions. Your angels guide you to focus on the intangibles you have in your life. Love, friendship, character, qualities of self, and to give them a moment of appreciation. So I feel like it's time for you to appreciate yourself. Um, after it's a time of not, I hope you guys can't hear my kid outside. Sorry if you do. It's life. Um, angel number 53 is about self-control. React accordingly. So some of you might find this out that your partner's cheating and it's this person from the past I don't feel was meant for you. I feel like, you know, like... You try to work it out no matter what is what I'm energy I'm feeling here. Um, the power lies in you to gain control over your responses in a present situation. Your angels calling you to feel solid in your ability to react appropriately to the challenges in front of you. Several times today, repeat this mantra. I am in control of how I respond. Angel number 128. So you guys are seeing how the messages are flowing, right? Let me know if you like how I'm doing these below. Um, this is just something I'm trying to do. It's different than other channels. I don't want to be like anybody else. My people, my old subscribers know that I switch it up all the time. But if this starts to work and this is how spirit wants me to do it, then I will. Um, 128 is about thankfulness. Practice gratitude in every moment. In little moments, take the time to be thankful. As you cook, do household chores, drive, or even fold laundry. Use the time to speak to your angels and let them know all the things you are thankful for in this moment. Because when we're thankful, what does that do? It brings in more abundance, prosperity more you know um brings in good things to us we can get some archangel and michael guidance i'm going to use the other deck this time i'm not going to use this one okay <clears throat> i will work your light deck here too but i'm not guided to it so i'm not gonna pull from it and I have all kinds of decks so i will be using different ones um i just want a little spirit guide me i use a to with today a couple i was like okay you know um i use my pendulum as well double check the message to see if the letters were correct and i'll show you guys that i'll start recording if you guys want to see them something unexpected is about to happen it's like somebody's about to spill the beans or tell them themselves okay that is a side message for someone you have don't give up on love number nine a relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear away for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. You might see a dolphin in your reality within the next 72 hours or a peony. Um, number 40, you're ready for more. Your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the changes you have been contemplating. Number 26, recognize the signs from heaven. The dove, the feather, the coin, the angel numbers, 444 is protection. Angels are sending you messages now. 
but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and be open to divine guidance, which will help you on your path. 41, your loved ones are safe. Let go of your fear or worries for loved ones. I am looking for them, looking after them. Sorry. Number 16, it's almost over. Your current challenges will soon be resolved and you'll be able to look to the future with a smile. Number 17, it's time to play. You're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance back into your life. It'll also help you tap into your imagination, which is your inner child. When you tap into that, you're going to get some creative ideas, okay? Number four, be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. 38, yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. And number 32, the way forward is open. You're not trapped. Possibilities and opportunities abound. I will guide you to personal and spiritual freedom. Once again, I am just the messenger here. Um, I'll get you a soul truth message, which I always end with those. Let's get you a mantra that you can use. You have one step at a time, me, and inner strength. Inner strength. Nothing moves me away from the path of light because I have complete confidence in myself. I realize the innate qualities and abilities, and I know that with God, I can do anything. All the power I need is within me. Okay? Whether that you align with God as the universe, God is Jesus, God is God, God is all, whatever you align with. Okay? We accept all faiths here, all walks of life. This is a very safe space. Okay? Me, I allow serenity to reign in me. The love I have found for myself invites harmony to settle within my being. I listen to and honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. I feel like you're learning to love yourself more. And you maybe you're speaking self-love mantras. If not, that will definitely help you. And as you fall in love with yourself is when this true twin flame divine counterpart can come in, okay? I'm showing you these because these are healing frequencies. One step at a time. I see the mountain ahead and dedicate myself to taking one small step at a time. I make the progress by staying focused on the present moment, the current task. Thus, I regain my ease of living. Someone here needs to stop looking at how far they think they have to go and look at how far they've come. You have come a long way. You need to pat yourself on the back and celebrate yourself. It's okay to be proud of yourself and it's okay to celebrate yourself, okay? I'm going to check, the, check these cards that fell on the floor here, see if there's a message. Sometimes spirit does that to me. So you have a passion and you start here, okay, it was actually like this, after, um, with a soulmate that's going to lead you to your ten of cups, after a situation that is ended, it had to end so something new could be created and transformed. This person tried to covet you, hold on to you, covet and coveted things in the world, right? They juggled you, cheated on you, lied to you, manipulated you, and spirit rock balance. You know that love is eternal, right? You put, you dedicated yourself to hard work. You're letting go of stagnation. You're in your head about this, though. Spirit is saying to temper yourself, balance your inner feminine, inner masculine, your light, and your dark. We all have these qualities, okay? And take the blindfold off so you can see things more clearly. You've been stabbed in the back time and time again, and this is the end of this, um, of this chapter in your life, okay? And it's time for you to lay your burdens down. Listen to your deep, deep within to your intuition, okay? Soon you're about to be set and pretty. Like the queen of wands, she's a bad bee, okay? You can be masculine or feminine because you're going to create your own reality with the things that you're passionate about. And I feel like I said earlier, you're getting this reward because you will help others that are less fortunate than you. You will give back. Let's get you soul truth message. And thanks for joining me again if you're still here. I appreciate you. Please tap that like button if this message resonates with you. Hit subscribe if you guys want to subscribe. I've been reading for a very long time people on this channel can tell you that since um and since i was 13 when i had my first deck and i'm 40 now so and i've been reading professionally for about six years am i focused on what i am losing or gaining are you going through some change are you scared to let go because of what you might lose what if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain endings are actually new beginnings today still action today make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you're going through Fill your heart, take a breath, and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. I just heard um, surrender. You know, like, a divine intervention will occur if you don't surrender is what I'm getting here. So, you're not meant to be with this person. This person's very shady. There's things you don't know. And Spirit's trying to reveal that to you through me and probably other readers. Um, so, I hope that you find the clarity you need. I hope that this channel helps uh, someone grow and whoever needs to see this message my intention is to find you 
Thank you. Remember to just be kind. It doesn't t cost anything to be kind. Spread love. Do a random act of kindness. Do something nice for someone today. I love you all until we meet again.